We would like to welcome everyone to the 11th district. This is our first district convention with uh, the new districts in place. We now have 17 counties in the 11th district. And those 17 counties this year are going to elect a Republican congressperson. <laughs> what we're here about today. We're here to retake the congressional seat from the 11th district, send a Republican to Washington. That won't be easy. Don't be, uh, don't think that it's going to be simple. It won't be easy. We've got to get out and do the work. The grassroots organization has to be in place. The Democrats will fight and fight, but come election time, they'll be ready for us, and we have to be ready as well. We want to have organizations in place within your counties to get out the vote. We've got people that will be here with part of the victory effort from Raleigh. Roger Kumpf is going to be the regional director of the victory effort. He'll be in touch with many of you county chairs, probably already has, trying to organize get out the vote efforts and organize your counties in such a way that will maximize the Republican vote in the fall. Straight down the ticket. This is a critical election. Does anybody believe that we need to return Barack Obama to the White House? Do we need a Republican president in 2012? Yes. Did we need a Republican president for the last four years? Yes. We've got a congressional seat. We've got the presidential seat. Governor, all the council of state all the General Assembly. What a difference two years makes with the Republican General Assembly in Rome. My report to you is that we stand ready to go. We're going to get out and do the work that's necessary to elect Republicans this fall, and we need your help. We need the help of folks that couldn't make it here today but are with us in spirit. We're going to get out and do this work, and we're going to elect Republicans. And don't forget the judiciary. Yes. Don't forget the Supreme Court and the Court of Appeals races in North Carolina. One seat separates the Supreme Court right now. I'm sure many of you have heard the phrase, Scooby Dooby vote for Newby. Yeah. Yeah. Remember that Paul Newby is running for re-election. And that we've got to remember the judicial races on the ballot. In some places, they may be on the back of the ballot. Don't forget the marriage amendment. Yes. The marriage amendment will be on the ballot in the primary, but not in the general election. This is the vote on the marriage amendment. It's taking place on May the 8th. There's not a second vote coming up later. I want to implore upon you, in some counties, I don't know that this is true at all, but in my county, for instance, there is one race that's on the back of the ballot, on the Republican ballot. It's the marriage amendment. It's on the back of the ballot in my county. On the Democrat ballot, it's on the front. So remember to turn the ballots over. Remember to find that amendment at the end of the at the end of the ballot and vote on that on May the 8th. Now in closing, voter ID. To voter ID. Voter ID is an issue that's before the General Assembly. I heard Speaker Tillis say about two to three weeks ago that, you know, that might just come up again. Good. Come on. And some handouts that uh, will be going around and, and here, either here or in the, in the dinner. It's a, it's a urge for people to sign and mail in. And that's Norm Roberts from Macon County. He's got some handouts regarding voter ID. Voter ID. He'll be passing those out here during the convention or the dinner. Okay. Uh, one last thing, and then uh, Dr. Stern, with your permission, I'm going to do the treasurer's report as well. Uh, it comes next on the agenda. A couple things that, that I want to do here today. I want to thank Robin Ramsey, the vice chair from the 11th district. Who had, John Yeoman's work for this district. Now, why am I doing this? She's one of the ones going to the 10th. Oh. Robin has been moved into the 10th. I 
have a movement afoot in Raleigh to go in and annex her house and put it back in the house. I don't think Patrick McHenry is going to let me do that. But Robin has done a terrific job, and this is her last day as the 11th District Vice Chair. Thank you, Robin. Thank you. Thank you. We have a special resolution coming up a little bit later, uh, so you'll understand why I'm mentioning that right now when you see the resolution uh, that's submitted by the Resolutions Committee concerning a favorite of ours in the 11th District for years. And finally, I want to thank the group. They don't know I'm going to do this, and I'm going to embarrass them a little bit. We've got three members here today from the Tuscola High School Teenage Republican yes. group. Right? Yeah. Folks, this is what it's about. This election is about the future of the country and the future of the people in this country. And those folks right there exemplify why we need to get out and do this work and they're willing to go out and work with us. It's not easy for folks to be teenage Republicans in a high school. And they're doing it and I appreciate that and I thank you for coming here today. Now for the treasurer's report, the uh, Bobby Williamson, I call him Bobby, Robert Williamson is a CPA. He is our district treasurer. He does a terrific job at that. And the fact that he's a CPA on April the 14th means that he's doing income taxes today. He doesn't have much hair left and he's pulling out what little he's got. So he's not with us, but I want to let you know that we do have money in the bank. I prefer not to go into details about it, just the fact that we've got money in the bank. We did well at the Golden Elephant Awards dinner, raised several thousand dollars at that dinner. Those of you that are, were there uh, that day, thank you very much. Uh, the money will come in handy and we will use it wisely. The people that remember the caterer from that dinner, they're going to cater this here today. And I think it was very good back then. They'll be here with us again today. So that would be the treasurer's report, Dr. Stern. Uh, let me take one quick look at the agenda. Okay. What I would like to do right now, uh, while the Credentials Committee is presented and then you go through a few items having to do with minutes and rules and the uh, plan of organization, is this. There is a lot of interest in the Republican National Convention in Tampa. A great deal. I've never seen this kind of interest before. The 11th District will elect three delegates to that convention and three alternates. And a number of people have expressed an interest in that. If you're here today and you're interested in being a delegate to that convention, I would ask that you meet me in the back of the room. We're going to go outside into the hall for just a few minutes. I need to go through some details with you and explain what's involved. I've got some stuff from the RNC that you need to know about before we have the election for that. So with the chair's permission, I'll, I'll excuse myself for a moment, take care of that business, and then we'll be back. Very good, Dave. The next item of business before this convention is the approval of the agenda. Chair would entertain a motion that the agenda be uh, our congressional candidates or their designees in just a moment. But first of all, we have a number of other people that are here today. If you are running for a statewide office or for the General Assembly, would you please stand? All right. Now, in no particular order, I think I've got a list here of everyone. Um, and I'll look around the room and then I'll go by my list as well. Uh, to, no, I never start to my left. To my right. Republicans never go to the left. Jesse Sigmund is running for the North Carolina House of Representatives in, I believe, District 118. And he's in the back. Michelle Presnell is running for the North Carolina House of Representatives, standing in the back. These folks, by the way, you'll be hearing from if you're staying for the luncheon. Uh, but because of time constraints, we're going to limit speeches here to the congressional candidates. 
Chuck McGrady, Representative Chuck McGrady from Henderson County, running for re-election here in the middle. R.L. Clark is running for the North Carolina Senate. Is it District 48? 49. 49. I'm sorry, District 49. Fremont Brown is running for the North Carolina Senate. Is it, that's 48. Okay, that is District 48. Uh, Mark Crawford is running for Superintendent of Public Instruction, and he's over here on your right. Trudy Wallen, Representative Trudy Wallen, running for re-election to the North Carolina House of Representatives. Senator Ralph Heiss, District, I think, 47, running for re-election to the State of Senate. My Senator, Jim Davis, District 50, running for re-election to the State of Senate. We have over here to my right again, Rudy Wright, I believe, running for North Carolina State Auditor. Congressional candidates, I'll get to you shortly. I can't see in the back. I see people standing. Is there anyone back here that's running for a statewide office? Mike Causey. Mike Causey. I, where's Mike? He, he, Mike had to look. Mike Causey was with us. He's running for North Carolina Commissioner of Insurance. You're here on behalf of Dan Forrest, right? Donna Logan, I believe it is, here uh, representing uh, Dan Forrest, running for North Carolina Lieutenant Governor. I'm representing Fern Schubert. Don Yelton representing Fern Schubert, who is running for state auditor, I believe. Is that correct? Right. Okay. Anyone else? Again, it's a little difficult to see. Richard, Richard Bernier for Deborah Goldman, state auditor. Deborah Goldman, running for state, state auditor, auditor, North Carolina state auditor. Richard Bernier. Is there anyone else? Mike Clampett. Uh, Mike, that's true. Mike Clampett was here a minute ago. <laughs> Yay! Running for the North Carolina. Secretary of State. Uh, is Jim Mayhan here? He called me last night. Running for North Carolina Governor. I think he was going to try to be here as well. Uh, Chris Emanuel is here somewhere on behalf of Pat McCrory for North Carolina Governor. Am I missing anyone else? I'll speak for Ken Gardner. Ken Gardner running for Secretary of State, correct? Okay. And uh, again, you'll be hearing from some of these folks at the luncheon afterwards, those of you that are staying.